straw. Again to let's draw with Tina. Are you ready to draw? You have your pencils and your paper? Here we go. Watching very carefully I always like to, to draw with a circle and as you know I start off with the circle for the head. That, then what I'm going to do remembering that the circles are an indication of the different parts of the body the head, the tummy, the hands and the feet. Okay, now we're going down here, we have um, another one that comes up and over and then I'm going to go down and come around and back in. Look at that. If you look at the shape, okay, you're going up, you've got the letter J, bring it around, but you're going to curl it back up and stop it just there. Now moving down here, we have a squash circle here. A big one and one in behind that okay now I'm going to join these up so that you can see where I'm going and first of all we have number 11 okay then we're going down here we're going to put in the letter C see how ABC's and one two threes and art are like jigsaw puzzle pieces that come together Okay, now we're going to bring that down here for the back of the leg. And then this one here, we have a C that's in there that comes down to the leg, down to the foot and stop it just there. Okay, now two last, remember, one, we're going to put a circle here for the hand and the other one is like it's resting on the knee. So that's two circles. Now, I always like to start at the top and move down. So starting up the top, we have N for north. Down the bottom, we have the slippery slide. We have the south pole. Over here, we have the windy west. And here, we have the east side. North, south, east and west, we know where the sun shines best. And the sun shines where this cartoon character actually lives. We're going to find out where it is. Starting at the north, we're going to do a curve line all the way down to the south pole, like so. Off you go. And then we're going to come over here from the windy west all the way across to the east side. Where the two lines meet becomes the centre of our character's face and that's where we find our noses, noses, don't you suppose us? That's where we're going to find our noses. Now we're going to put in here where the nose is, we're going to put it here, watch this, bring it up and around and stop it just there. Now above the nose we're going to put on a curved line over the nose and stop it just there. Alright, now we're moving above there and we have the eyes. That's where one goes and that's where the other. Have you noticed that the eye is actually closed? We're going to see some more, some more of that in a second. And this is where the first ear, the ear that's near us, is going to go up and down and stop it just there. And the other one is in behind. We can see that it's there because it comes up and over and stop that one just there. All right? Okay. Here we go. We have the arms. I want to show where the hands are. We're going to bring it around, curve it around. There's one. That's the outside, that's where the elbow is, and this is the inside of the arm. And there's the other one. Now this one that goes across the tummy, it actually looks so it's resting on the tummy. We can, it has two arms, but we can see this one, we can know where it is, because you can see it coming out to the elbow and back into the tummy and stop it just there. Now we're ready to change to my black felt tip pen. And I always like to start at the top and move down. Are you ready? Have you guessed what this cartoon character is? I wonder. Here we go. At the top, a little bit of a fringe there going on. Look at that. Up, down, up, down. Like the grass. Up, down, up, down. See that? Then what we're going to do is starting at the north, we're going to bring it all the way down to the west and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. 
The reason why I use the black felted pen, it's for the key line, okay? And that's so our character stands out. Watch this from the north, we're going over to the east and stop it just there. And I stopped it there to allow for the ear to go in, you see that? Here we go with the first ear. Bring it up, bring it around and back in and stop it just there. Now we want to show that the ear is thick, so here we go, we're going to put the inset of the ear and there we go, that's it. Okay, here we go for the other one. On this side we're going to bring it up and around and stop it just there. We know where it starts, it starts in behind and we can see it so we, don't, we only draw what we can see. Now moving down, what we're going down here is that of course he has his eyebrows. There's one and there's the other. Now we're coming down to the eyes and the eyes are closed. So look at that, there's one. And there's the other. Now, there, sometimes cartoon characters, you'd have three lines on it, and that would show that the eyes are crunched up real tight. But look at this, it looks so he's laughing his heart off, doesn't it? It does. Now, what we're going to do here is that we're going to follow this all the way around. Watch this, we have this curved line, bring it up. Follow it all the way around and stop it just there. I'm going to put in the nose, follow around the nose. And I'm going to put a reflection on the nose, make a nice shiny nose. And with your pencils, you're going to shade that in. And as you can see, our cartoon character looks really healthy and happy. Now, and off we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to follow this around, bring it down, oh, Tina, bring it down and up and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it, all right? Now what I want to do is I want to put in a, the letter C for the cheek, see that? There we go. And we're going to see a little bit of cheek on the other side, all right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down, finish it off to the east and stop it just there. Now this cartoon character is the mouth is open. So here we go, watch this. Going to open the mouth, bring it down, bring it back up, and bring it up, and stop it just there. Okay? And that tells that the mouth is wide open. And once the mouth is open, you'll be able to see his teeth inside. And not only that, his tongue. And we have M for mum. Okay? Now what we're going to do, we're going to show the outside of the lip. We're going to bring it down, bring it all the way over. Bring it back up and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Okay, and as you can see, the mouth is really, he's really chuckling his heart out, isn't he? So to show the mouth is open, we're going to shade in there. See that? And you can see where his teeth are now. Lovely, lovely, he must brush his teeth every night. There we go. All the way down. Okay, now this part here is the back of the head, so we're going to bring that down, bring it out, exaggerate on it, and bring it back in, and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Moving down onto the tummy, we're going to join these all up here. We have number one, and that's where the neck is. And notice that the shoulder, we're going to follow that around. See where I'm going? Tina, watch where you're going. All the way around. Bring it down and stop it just there. Now, remember what I said about the, the um, pencil. You can always go out a little bit. It doesn't matter, okay? Because every stroke and every curve changes. There's one, the elbow of his uh, left front arm, and there's the other for the inset of the arm, okay? Now we're going to put on his hand sitting on his knee. But when the hand is sitting on the knee, you can see it like that and you can see the thumb, all right? But this hand, when you can't see the thumb because it's resting somewhere, he still has his three little fingers. So we know the thumb is there and then we have one little finger, two little fingers, three little fingers and no more. Who's that knocking? At the door. Okay, and this one here, we'll see that because the thumb is up there, look at that cocktail sausage for his thumb and there we have one little finger two little fingers three little fingers and no more who's that knocking at the door
And there we have the top of the hand there, little bit of the elbow, there we go, the inside, and there we have it. Now it's resting on his tummy, and I want to show that's his tummy. You put in the curve line like that. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to go around here, the front of the tummy, watch that pencil, bring it followed all the way around to that letter C. Off you go. And as you can see, it's very important that we know our ABCs and our one, two, threes, because this is what brings art together. Okay, now here we go. We're going to follow the, the line all the way down. The letter C. Okay, and then we're going to follow that all the way around, bring it down onto the ground, bring it back up, bring it up, and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Now you want to show that he's bent over a little bit, put in a curve line there, and that shows you the, the back of the leg, the fold in it. Here we go around here, our seat to the front, watch this, bring it out and around, and stop it just there, and then watch this foot out in front there, and there we have his other foot. We have um, two curved lines for his two toes. There's one, there's the other, and here on this side, there's one, and there's the other. Now, not forgetting, at this little cartoon card, at the tummy part, I always like to put in, it's like a bib, but it allows you to add a lighter shade of colour. Because if you notice, even puppies and cats, their tummies are a lighter colour. So this, is, this little guy is no different. Have you guessed what he is? Mmm. An animal that loves to chuckle a lot, I'd say. Watch this. Bring it around, let it go in behind his thigh there, and stop it just there. And last but not least, because sometimes I do forget, the little tail at the back. And have you guessed what it is? That's right, it's a laughing hyena. Yeah, so we're going to put him somewhere. So here we go, we're going to put the ground in. We're going to put in the horizon line. Okay, here I'm going to put in a, um, a tree. Now, if he's where hyenas live, all right, the trees are out in the desert, or um, in the the the, um, the not very much because where it is, the land is very dry. Bring it out there, okay. And sometimes they have a little bit of greeny there at the bottom. Look at that, and the same on that side. There we have it. Bring it over. There we have up there, wispy grass, down, up, down, all around, up, down, up, down, grass to be found. Okay, I wonder what he's laughing at. Hmm, maybe one of his pals jumped into the water. So we put the water splashes there, look at that. There we have it, like he's jumped into the pond. Okay, instead of drinking, he jumped into it, look at that. Okay, put some dry grass or dry brush behind. There we go, there's one. And the same on the other side. And all the time what you're doing is you're building up the background of your cartoon character. And here we have, we're going to say that in the rolling hills. Watch this. Rolling hills and they're smoother lines. Look at that. Pick it up on that side. Let it go in behind. Up to there and down. All right. A few little pebbles there on the ground and maybe a drop of water and he's breaking his heart laughing isn't he because his friend yeah must have got in or fell in that's probably more like it okay and a little bit of um, cloud there okay now that we've done that I'm going to change to my crayons are you ready and remembering too that you can have your twistables if that's what you'd like all right I always like to start at the top and move down and here we go with our blue sky. Now be very seldom where he is, I know I put a cloud in, but very seldom that you see the, the rain. Maybe he, that's why he's laughing is that it did rain a little bit and that the, the water hole, it um, filled up with water and his other little friend didn't realise that 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 has happened. Now a nice colour blue because they'd always have a beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Look at that. Okay, we're going to put in our sun and remembering when the sun is out it reflects off different surfaces. 
So there we go, all around the garden like a teddy bear. Our little sun is shining up there. We're going to put it at the top there, look at that. Top of his hair, top of his ear, top of his nose, and the top of the hills there, look at that. Just using the side of the crayon, because it reflect on the side of the tree there. This poor tree, I say, he was delighted to get a bit of rain. All right, down on his little knee and his arm, his little snout, and maybe a bit on the tail and the foot there. Look at that. So anywhere the sea is hitting off, notice that I'm putting in all the yellow here. And then what it is with, with different colours is that you, you shade in and you can put one colour on top of the other. That's what I like about the sun when it's out. And it's a beautiful day out there today. What's next now? The mountain. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in a purple mountain. I'll use a small crayon. Oh, that's blue. Now, here we go. Remembering it's a cartoon, so it can be any colour that you want it to be in the distance. All right, you choose. And remember too, there are no two artists the same. Every artist is different and that's what, that's what makes us all so unique is that we are different. Because if we were all the same, it'd be very boring, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, we put some gold down here. Look at that. And a little bit of a nice light colour green. Because if the rains had come, if the, the pasture would be um, all nice and light and green. Look at that. And all the time we're building up. All right, I'm using my crayon. Now you probably have some twistables, which is good as well. There's so many different things that we can colour in with now. And see the way I'm going all around the garden? It just shows you the different foliage, see that? Okay, now we go for the tree trunk. And I have to look for my brown, I found it. This colour I like, I love this crayon, the feel of it, look at that. There we have the tree trunk, bring it over there. Where the sun isn't shining, it's going to be a little, put in the shading, look at that. All the way down, underneath there, look at that. Here, just behind there a little bit, just building it up. There we have, oh, that's gone. Not to worry, I'm going to have our little hyena now. I'm going to color him in orange. Look at that. Now remember, boys and girls, you can take your time doing this because, you know, this is all about enjoying coloring in. And even mammies and daddies and nanas and granddads, they, and aunties and uncles, they love coloring in as well. Okay, so don't forget that when you're doing it. The whole lot of you can join in. Everyone can have some fun. Bring it around. I'm still keeping it nice and light. On that side, there we go. His tummy there, see that? And that allows for a different colour to be on the inside, a different colour orange. This is the orange that I wanted to see the way darker. Look at that. Highlight it, bring it around. There we have it. Okay, not forgetting about this side of his arm. Look at that. And all the time, our little cartoon character, we're building it up. And that's what I love about the crayons is that we can put one colour over the other. <coughs> Excuse me. His little red tongue. He must brush his teeth every night because after all, they're shining bright. And of course, this is water. So down by the watering holes, the, what do you call it, they filled up and they're very important because they need the watering hole to survive, don't they? But today, it's all about enjoying the rain. All right. There we go, I have the splashes, look at that. Splish splashing around the water, look at that. I forgot his tail there, I'm gonna put that in now. 
Up, down, up, down, all around. Up, down, up, down, grass to be found. Same on that side. Okay. Now we can go over the light green there, put in the darker because they're all different shades of green. And of course it soaks up. When the plants haven't been having water for a long time, it soaks it up. And it's just like overnight, everything goes from dry sand, you know, like dry clay to bursting with greenery. And that's when you have all the wildebeest and everything coming out because they know they all, they're always on the move to greener pastures. They're always, one night they're there and the next morning they're gone. Moving on. And now his tummy and um, his little, here we go, have this. Let's just do a little pinky. You're having so much fun there today, Mr. Hyena. All the way around, look at that. And there we have our little hyena, all outside, breaking his heart laughing. And when the sun is out, we're the same, aren't we? All we want to do is get into the water and splish, splash, blush. And there you go, boys and girls. So don't be shy and give it a try. Until the next time, bye-bye.